What's up guys, Skid Ramp Peach here. So today we're gonna have a little bit of a Funko Pop mail call and we're gonna be opening some packages. So let's check it out. All right guys, so I have a couple things from the last few days that I've really wanted to show you guys and I've been waiting to have a little bit more things to do a bit, little bit of a longer video so it's not too short for you guys. And I'm really excited to show off some of these things. So I have some things that Bailey got me, which are really cool. I have something that I got for Bailey, she already knows about, but I really wanted to show it off to you guys because it was just something cool and really cool for the anime category. As well as we do have an order from Box Lunch that came in and we have a gift that a subscriber sent over, I think about a week or two ago. I've had it for a little bit of, um, and I think it's some pins. I'm not entirely sure, but it's really cool and I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So I think we're going to jump into that first. Um, so I believe this came over from a person named Zach Attack. I don't, I don't know who this is exactly, but if you do watch the videos, thank you so much for sending it over. Um, well, obviously you watch the videos or you wouldn't have sent something. I don't know, I'm weird. Anyways, I'm really excited. So let's open this. Let's see what's going on in here. But again, thank you so much for sending something over. That was really nice of you. I think it's pens though. I don't know. There's a little note though, so let's see what's uh, let's see what the note says. It says, "Read this first, or else." All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we better read this first. All right. Hi, Skittle Rampage. I hope you like what I send. Uh, sent. Also, what do you? What, well, I just like read too fast. Also, what do you do when you get double of the same thing? Because I send uh, pins. Hope it's not double. Uh, my YouTube channel is ZachAttack123, okay? Um, I'm the one who said not to click the link, it will scare you. You heart that comment. Also, sorry if I use too much bubble wrap. There's never a thing as too much bubble wrap. Um, also, I send Hanji sticker because I had two. Also, the pen was 15, so yeah, I'm poor now, but it's okay. <laughs> well, don't spend your money to send something, I feel bad. Um, also, I was going to send a pop, but I don't know what you don't have. Um, also, I'm the, uh, I, sorry, I'm having trouble reading that part, because uh, there's a lot of Zach attacks. Can you comment on one of my vids so I know you got this? Also, I hope you uh, reach 100k subs. That's awesome. Also, tell ba Bailey I said hi. Um, also, she can be um, in... She can be in the fan, fan mail video. She's unfortunately not here right now, Zach, but um, probably in a future fan mail video, she definitely will be. Uh, P.S. Who's your favorite from AOT and Demon Slayer? My faves are Sasha and Nezuko. So my favorites from Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan will probably be Levi or um, Aaron himself. And Demon Slayer would probably be a Nosuke or Nezuko as well. So we have that in common, which is really awesome. Uh, thank you so much for the note. That was really awesome of you. And I'm really excited to see what you sent over. This, I think this is the Hanji sticker. Oh, that is a cool little sticker. That's neat. There we go. I got it to focus for you guys. It's being a little weird with me moving it so much. That's really cool. She's using the ODM gear too in the sticker, which is awesome. Thank you so much. That's really cool. And then he sent over a fig pen. It says, open with care or else. All right, all right, all right. I'm just gonna, just gonna cut the bubble wrap. Oh, it looks like he sent over my Hero Academia one. That's cool. This is, oh, Mirio. Sweet. It's Mirio uh, Togeda in his uh, hero costume. That's really cool, actually. Show you guys. I like that, that's awesome. I do not have this one. That's really cool. Let's, uh, let's take it out of the little... Oh, wait. Does it have a sticker on it? Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. Let's take it out of the little packaging. I do not have this one. I have a lot from My Hair Academia in terms of pens that subscribers have sent over, but I don't have a Mirio, which is really awesome. Always cool to get one that I don't have. Awesome. And I think he asked the question, what do I do with doubles? I don't really get doubles too often because I'm pretty cautious with what I buy. I don't buy too many mystery boxes, so I don't end up with a lot of doubles. But um, if I do end up with doubles, I just sell the, um, the double, you know? Like, for example, I always buy an extra pop on release day of something, you know, that um, a lot of people are looking for. And I sell the extra one for a little bit more to help cover the cost of that pop so it's free. That's a cool way to actually, you know, get a lot of your pops for free in your collection. Um, and, you know, not upcharging crazy, you know, like $80 for a new exclusive. I typically sell it for a little bit more to help just cover the cost, mostly. Anyways, so Mirio is going to go right here. It's going to go right under Tinya, which is really awesome. And Zach... 
I will try to find your channel the best I can and comment one, one of your videos. But again, thank you so much for the note and that was really awesome of you to send something over. Um, so let's get into a few of the other things we got. Um, I wanna show off the things Bailey got me actually, which are really awesome. So the first thing we have is Venom. She actually surprised me with this, which was really awesome. This is Venom, the Walgreens exclusive. Now vaulted, which I did not know about, which is awesome. Um, and I've had this one in my collection a long time ago, but then I got rid of it, and then now I have it back, which is amazing. Um, and this one I expect to go up a lot in value as well, because with it being vaulted, and it's a Venom, and it's original Venom um, from the comic books, and it's awesome. You know, it's just an awesome pop, and the new movie coming out, and everything like that. So there is it out of the protector, just to show you guys. Really awesome pop. On the back there it has Spider-Man 2099, which I do have. It has Black Suit Spider-Man. I also have that one. I don't have Punisher, but really, really cool wave. I guess I kind of want to take this one out of the box to show you guys. And this is, I believe, from the original release of 2014. There are fakes of this out there. Bailey's always scared to buy me pops because, she, one, she's scared on, to buy online all the time because she's afraid she's going to get a fake or scammed, which is un, um, understandable. Because a lot of people do scam out there, especially if you don't know your pops. Um, but yeah, I need. I'm. Pr I'm pretty sure she got a legit one, because the foot stamp matches everything like that. I'm pretty sure this is good. Oh, I love this original design of Venom. So awesome. Look at that, guys. So awesome for my you know Symbio and uh, Spider-Man villains collection. Really, really love this one. This is actually the first pops that she's bought me. Um, for my collection, which is awesome. I bought her a ton for her birthday. If you haven't seen her channel, she showed off a few of them. Um, I bought a lot of Disney ones for her that she really, really wanted. This is cool though. I really, really do like this Venom one. Um, and it's one I've wanted for a while again. And I'm really um, grateful and happy that she got it. So thank you, Bailey. And another one she got me, which was really awesome, guys, was the Blue Venom, which is essentially the same one, just a repaint. Just love it. I really need that carnage though. I didn't show that carnage off in my last how to um, buy these now video. I really like that um, OG carnage that I need to get. But she got me blue venom. So this one actually restocked a while back and I think it sold out before I could even get one, uh, which was no big deal. But yeah, she just randomly got it. And I was like, right, well, all right then, that's awesome, which is really cool. So we're gonna take this one out of the box and see it. I don't know if I've ever owned this one in my collection to my knowledge. Maybe a long time ago I did because I was collecting um, Venom and Carnage a while back, but then I sold them all off because I wanted to collect something else. But yeah, now I'm kind of just interested in Spider-Man and Venom again, so I've been kind of going crazy with it a little lately. But I believe this is the same pop just painted blue, and it has green ooze on the tongue, which is awesome. I don't really know the difference, though. I don't know if someone can kind of explain the lore a little bit. I don't know the difference between Blue Venom and black venom i was under the assumption they were the same purse like same symbiote but can someone explain why one's blue and one isn't like i keep forgetting to look it up so if someone can explain it um in simple terms for me to understand that would be really awesome but i really do love these um and i'm so excited that she got them for me because they've been on my wish list for a while now and uh i just haven't gotten around to getting them and then she surprised me with them which was amazing so thank you again bailey um but yeah guys now, the next thing I want to get into, and by the way, guys, at any point in this video, you can comment down below some pickups you've guys gotten. I would love to hear from you guys. Um, but now we're gonna hand, um, we're gonna kind of get into something that I got over from Box Lunch, which is really awesome. Or not Box Lunch, excuse me, Mercari, that I got for a heck of a deal, like ridiculous deal that I had to pick up. And Bailey's a huge fan of this show, um, and I was like. Well, I obviously have to pick up one of these, or I have to pick it up. And I never got the original mystery box it was in just because, like, they're cool mystery boxes, but it's, like, it's still a little, I mean, it's a really good price for them, but you never know what the signed item's going to be. Anyways, I'm about to show you guys, I'm going to explain why I didn't get the box. So we have Shigede from, I believe I said his name right, probably butchered it, but um, from Fruits Basket, one of Bailey's favorite animes, and it was just really cool to get an autographed pop for her, and I got this for 28 bucks, Summer Kari, I was like, the pop itself's like 12, 18 for a signature with a JSA, I, you can't go wrong with that, for 18 bucks, you, you just can't go wrong, uh, 16, it'd be 16 bucks, 
yeah, 16. I, I, I did that math wrong. Anyways, there's a little JSA thing. Just really awesome overall. I was not expecting to find one like this for so cheap. It was like 35 bucks and then I offered a little less and I was like, well, you know, it never hurts to offer. Like I'm, I'm one to go for a bargain and a deal. It never hurts to offer, um, offer on an item. I always do because you never know what people are willing to take if you don't do it. Um, but yeah, just a really cool signature. I felt like the signature was a little, sometimes people's signatures are just kind of like, it looks just like a scribbly line, but it's by the artist. So this one came from Zobi and I bought, I think one or two of their boxes and I got a really cool Lelouch pen from Code Geass, which was awesome. But I, I'm not really big on mystery boxes and like random contents cause I specifically do collect pops and you know, I collect pops, pins and statues for the majority. Um, but I don't buy those boxes because they're kind of few full of like random collectibles that I don't really need per se. They'll just end up as giveaways or things like that for the most part. So, um, and I didn't know which character this one was going to be. That's why I didn't pick up a box. I was really hoping it was going to be Keo, but I felt like he was too popular of a character and his autograph is too expensive to put in a $40 mystery box. So I knew it wasn't going to be him. It ended up being Shigede, which was still kind of cool. And Bailey's really excited to put it in her collection. So it was just a really awesome, like, you know, cheap gift that, was affordable and that she loves, which is amazing. And I wanted to show you guys. Um, now, the last thing that we have to show off is our box lunch order came in, which I'm really excited about. So this is kind of like partly Bailey's and partly mine. Just an extra I bought of something. And you guys are gonna see right now. But the reason I kind of kept it in its box was because I wanted to show you guys how they shipped this time around, which was awesome. So this is how they shipped it, guys. They shipped it in a sorter in a box, which was really awesome. Typically, and they, I get items in bags. I don't know why. Just for the majority of my last orders, I was getting everything in a bag. And I just thought it was really awesome to see it in a box and a sorter for once, which was amazing. And then they even let them put little uh, paper on there, which was really nice of them. So really awesome. So if you haven't seen it yet, my orders of Aang came in. And I did order two online for me and Bailey. So one of these is hers, and then I do have an extra Aang that I'm just going to hold on to for the future. Um... But yeah, I was just overjoyed, so I don't think I need to show you the other Aang, but for those who didn't see my video or who haven't seen Aang in person yet, here's a little look at him for you guys. I did do a video showing off his glow and everything if you want to check it out. But just overall, a really, really cool pop and a really great addition to the Avatar set. Um, I kind of do hate the box and also like the box at the same time just because it doesn't match the other boxes, so it kind of irks me. It looks very, it stands out very much. Um, in the actual set, but that's okay. I do truly believe that this one might be a future grail like Azula um, In the Yang chase just because I think it's good enough to be a grail, but not right now I think it's gonna sit at like 40 50 bucks for a while um, And then when box lunch stops restocking and things like that I do see it going up in the future because it's an Earth Day exclusive really cool sticker really cool pop overall and it's glow in the dark It's just really neat. You know, we have exclusives like the anti venom, the box lunch exclusive, the tea bundle that never ended up restocking at box lunch again, um, which was just cool. You know, it was like one of those random grails now at box lunch. And I'm still expecting box lunch to, you know, kind of restock it um, just randomly. Who knows? But for the most part, box lunch does have a few grails out there that haven't restocked, which is cool. Uh, so again, I do expect this one to be a future grail. I could be wrong, but that's just my assumption. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this unboxing video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below and comment down below if you've picked up anything recently. Did you guys get any new grails, any new exclusives? Did you guys get an order of Aang? Did you pick up anything on Mercari or eBay? I'd love to hear from you guys and know what you guys have going on in your collections. Um, I think, speaking of like your collections, I think um, in a couple days I might do another subscriber collection like look at video and like rate your collections and things like that. So if you guys want to see that, comment down below if you've made it this far in the video. Uh, but but, you know, I want to do more videos that involve you guys as well from time to time. So if you guys want to see another subscriber collection video, let me know. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is always down below. A lot of cool things going on over there. But again, huge shout out to you guys. I also want to tell you guys to make sure to check out the Facebook group. It's Buy, Sell, and Trade. And you can make a ton of friends as well as be following my social medias, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Skittle Rampage. All right. I love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you.